Hello friends, today in the lab we will learn how to perform the biochemical oxygen demand. Okay, so this is also called BOD and this is also called biological oxygen demand. So first of all, we have to know what is the meaning of BOD. So the meaning of BOD is the amount of dissolved oxygen required by the organic matter in the water in order to degrade it. Okay, and uh, this is the part of the assessment of the quality of surface water and uh, it also enables us to understand the characteristics of dissolved oxygen contained in water and waste water. Now here we are going to use the device which is called Oxytop and the meaning of, uh, I mean the objective is to understand the meaning of BOD as a wastewater quality parameter and also to use the Oxytop BOD measuring system. This BOD is an indicator of the potential for a water body to become depleted in oxygen and possibly become anaerobic because of the uh, biodegradation. It is a high BOD and a microbial pollution can become depleted in oxygen and they may not support aquatic life unless there is a means for rapidly replenishing dissolved oxygen. This test has the wide application or you can say broad application in measuring the waste loadings to treatment plants and also in evaluating the BOD removal, removal efficiency of such treatment systems. In front of us there is a BOD5 curve which means uh, this point is my maximum point and you can also call this as fifth day BOD okay and the BOD value increases over time as organic matter is progressively biodegraded. However, after five days, majority of the organic matter has been degraded. But I mean, most of them degrade after 20 days. Okay. For that reason, BOD5 is measured after five days of incubation. This is widely used method. Okay. And uh, the table, this total content of the biological organic matter, which is 21 days, it is measured by 21. So in this 21 days, we assume that most 99% of the organic matter has degraded. BOD tests measure the molecular oxygen utilized during the specified incubation period for the biochemical degradation of organic material which is the carbonaceous demand and the oxygen used to oxidize inorganic materials such as sulfide and ferrous ions. We are going to use the nitrification that will interfere in measurements of BOD and this prevents the use of inhibitor is required and we have to drop add two drops and the manometer measures the decline of pressure inside the recipient caused by oxygen consumption that you will see shortly in the top mounted sensor. B5 refers to a particular empirical test that is accepted as a standard in which a specified volume of sample water is seeded with the bacteria and nutrients that is nitrogen and phosphorus and then incubated for 5 days at 20 degrees C in the dark so that there is no light of or you can say uh, any other kind of activity and this is also measured as a decrease in dissolved oxygen that is measured in ppm or milligrams per liter after five days of incubation and the ph uh, that is i mean the, the bod is affected by uh, numerous parameters i mean ph has to be in the range of 6.5 to 8.5 temperature 20 degrees c organic matter now we were talking about the pH temperature, temperature should not be more than 20 degrees C and there should be enough amount of the organic matter and dissolved oxygen. Okay. Now if the BOD is less than 1 it seems the water is unpolluted Okay, and if the BOD is uh, lying from 2 to 8 okay. so it means the water is moderately polluted and if the BOD is lying more than 20 or less so it seems it is efficiently treated municipal wastewater although you cannot drink this water and if the BOD is lying between 200 to 800 it seems the water is polluted and it needs treatment sampling handling how we should handle the sample and from where we are going to bring the sample this is very very important so the samples for BOD analysis they degrade significantly during the storage okay I mean between the collection and the analysis and if the analysis can be done within two hour of collection the cold storage is not required and if the analysis is not started within two hour of sampling 
collection keep sample at or below 4 degrees C from the time of collection. Begin analysis within 6 hours of collection. When this is not possible, the sample site is far from the laboratory. You have to store below 4 degrees C and report length and temperature of storage with the results. In this case, you can minimize the, I mean, the error. And in no case, start the analysis more than 24 hours later than the time of collection. And in the laboratory, we are going to use the oxytor measuring system. So this is based on pressure measurement or you can say difference of the pressure. And this measure measuring is made by the pressure measurement via piezo resistive electronic uh, pressure sensors. Okay. Now the oxytor measuring system minimizes the measuring work and is, this is suited to courses of respirometer BOD measurement. Here we are going to use simple things like a BOD bottle, oxytor bottle, rubber quiver, sodium hydroxide, and a bead. Okay. Now the purpose of adding the sodium hydroxide pellets into the rubber quiver with tweezers is to absorb the CO2 produced in the process which might interfere in the pressure measurements. So hello friends. Today we are going to do the BOD of the water sample. Okay. So in front of us we have the, this is the double distilled water and this is a tap water. Mm -hmm. okay. Now what is the first task that, we, that shall we do? First of all we have to measure the pH of both samples. Okay. Mm -hmm. Task is to check the pH. Can you check the pH? I think Aisha taught you right? How to do the BOD. Uh, but I forget. Okay no problem. Just check the pH. Check check. Okay. Dip 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 in water. Okay. Let me see. So now if the pH is not close to 7, we need to adjust the pH. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am teaching you the ideal way how to do BOD. Usually we don't see the pH. But this is very mandatory. Can you leave it? No, no. Just dip it and leave. Dip for us. So it must be okay. around 7. Oh. So this pH is, is little rising. So what we will do, we will add certain base here. Okay. Ah, it throws more. Oops. So the pH is close to 7 for the tap water also. What we need to do is clean this. Okay. Then we will transfer our samples. Okay. Now what you need to do is add 164 ml of the water sample. Okay. So add. This is the funnel. Now take. The We'll add a bead in both of them. Okay. So 64, 164. Okay. This is how much? 55, 60. Add four more. Per. Add this rubber quiver. At the top, you will add certain pellets. You need to add this. Uh, this is called nitrification inhibitor. Okay, bacteria. Okay, this will suppress the nitrogenous beauty demand. Just add certain drops. Add certain drops. No, 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 don't. And how much is the total volume? Okay. Close, close. Just hand tight. This was what? Distilled water. Distilled water. Okay. Or double distilled water. Okay. Now. You have certain values here, right? So what you need to do is initialize. It's more than one liter. But the retention time okay. is constant. Uh, if you press yes. now, so, okay. hours. No, so it shows no values, right? Mm -hmm. So S is for stored values, okay? So there are no, and M is for measured values. Since there is no value, so it will show no values, okay? Now you need to put this here. Similarly, you transfer these samples. You need to put here, put it here. Okay. Now this we this we have to initialize. When it is zero zero, you will stop. Okay, zero zero, you stop. Okay. Now you need to switch on from here. Okay. So you need to check also whether it is connected from here or not. Okay, it's connected now. Now what you need to do is this is my stick. So you will use this for make it in center. Okay. And there is a purpose of adding the base 
and also purpose of putting in the sector okay so what is the purpose of adding this so that whatever co2 is liberated is absorbed here and there should be no pressure fluctuation inside the bod bottle also it is colored because there should be no light activity okay that's why we and this is like a cabinet thermostat cabinet where temperature is maintained so what we need to do is we can shake it and then we will see okay now you see it's a center okay so this is a magnetic weak stick okay now close and then leave it for 5 days okay after 5 days you come and check the bod readings okay so these are the bod ranges okay suppose i mean you should know the bod of your water sample you should have a guess suppose the bod lies between 0 to 40 you choose 430 two and factor is 1 now the factor what is the fa what factor means whatever bod5 you got suppose a bod5 here you got 1 so factor is 1 mm -hmm. now in your case you choose 0 to 400 and you choose 164 ml so here factor is 10 so whatever bod5 you will get you will multiply by that factor mm -hmm. okay i taught her so after 5 days we have taken out the sample so you can see the values so this is probably deionized water so you can see the fifth day BOD is 1 so the BOD 5 here is we as we took the factor I mean this one 164 ml so the BOD here is 5 is 10 in the tap water so you can see the BOD is increasing and decreasing so the fifth day BOD is 2 so the BOD here is 20 okay BOD 5 into factor 10 factor 10 here is factor is sorry factor is here is is 10 so 10 into 2 is 20 in this case it is 10 so this is more polluted as compared to this one and we, we can also check in the US EPA table or WHO uh, drinking water standard so which is more polluted which is moderately polluted which is highly polluted and which is severely polluted and also we can plot the values here so this is our bod5 and this is number of days so you can get to know i mean the trend of the bod using this graph paper or you can also draw in your excel or using other kind of software packages or software tools okay so this was all about the bod okay also there is one more bod related to the bod measurement of the water i have i made this video because my intention was to make you more clear about the computation or the measurement of the BOD.